Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please. Binding of Isaac after birth. It's random runs. Last one was fun. Little dangerous, little fun. It's nice, you know? It's like having a boyfriend who rides a motorcycle. Should wear a helmet though. XBHT 2WBQ. You you dress for the uh the fall. You don't dress for the ride, you dress for the fall. Oh, I've never fallen off my bicycle. That means it could never happen. Smart, smart people. What is it that Kanye West said? The prettiest people do the ugliest things. For the road, the riches, and diamond rings. That doesn't really make any sense. But then he said, you know, shorties hate themselves and love their wealth. And the shorties hollow where the ball is at. <laughs> okay, this is a ridiculous start. Um, one bomb is a big pickup here. I'm a little scared because we're Judas. But we can... Fairly realistically take this pill and not be too afraid. One makes you small. Um, the faster we can get a spirit heart, the better. And the easiest way to do that is we get a bomb. So we get one bomb. Instead of blowing up this tinted rock, we go blow up the pots that house another bomb. Hopefully get some money out of it. Um, or whatever. Is there an item you can get from pots? I don't, maybe the quarter? It's been a while. Um, scapular is actually super useful here. We could also get a key... And then that key would allow us to get into the shop and have a, you know, probably like a 75% chance to find a spirit heart in there. And then we're really, like, dealing with a pretty defensible situation. I love Judas as a character. I mean, we could just take half of a red heart of damage and then Scapular will work out for us. We just have to make sure we don't take a full spirit heart of damage by accident. Because if we do, we will um, die before Scapular gets a chance to work. But it's nice to... Have a little bit of uh, leeway here for sure. There's really just no, no avenue for me to get a bomb, huh? Okay, well we'll shoot all the fires and get a consumable out of those. Of course, we could shoot all the TNT and hope to get like a black market, but that's a little ridiculous. And we got a champion version of the haunt. This is kind of the game's way of telling me to fuck myself. Any character but Judas, and we would be in. Uh, a pretty good spot. I just want to see what his uh, brimstone attack is. Because the... Uh, oh, he doesn't have a brimstone attack? He just spawns spiders? If that's the case, that's not that bad. Um, I was wondering if... I think the pink one is the one that shoots uh, the brimstone off the walls and then it deflects, which is a really dangerous option for us. Any other character, we would have been fine. We're still fine. Any other character, we would have been fine too, though. And we actually get up to 3 HP for the next floor. And, uh, you know, we have a chance to get ourselves an arcade as a result of the fact that we got 6 cents. Although, I'd really just like to spend the 6 cents at our earliest convenience to pick up a uh, Tinted Rock. Pretty much guarantee ourselves a deal with the Devil and, uh, you know, get a deal that allows us to win the run, maybe, now that our HP is really good. But... There's not much we can complain about right now, considering we're Judas, so we have that damage multiplier. Book of Belial is a, you know, at least a B-plus tier spacebar item. And 3 HP is, you know, Isaac's starting level. I'd still rather be Isaac, just because the D6 has all sorts of cool, you know, interesting interactions and consequences for the game at large. But, uh, certainly this is a, a close second. In terms of, like, fun, but also assured victory. That's not really true, but... We're close. Uh, finally, we have a bomb. And we have a Tinted Rock right away, so I will take advantage of that. Very important, just don't get hit before you pick up the Spirit Hearts. We managed to avoid Ridicule. And we got a key, so it looks like they'll even let us go to the item room on this floor, which, wow. I thought the game was being generous before by giving us a single bomb, but now, actually giving us the ability to get into the item room? You shouldn't have. You're making it, this is like easy mode. What's next? You're actually gonna, like... You know, give me the ability to get a tears upgrade from this guy so our DPS can keep popping off. What's next? You're not going to hard crash on me? You're not going to erase my cloud save from the database? We didn't get a tears upgrade. We got a, a speed plus damage upgrade, which is actually probably better. Especially because it contributes to spun. And uh, then we took missing page two from the, uh, from the deal with the devil. You know what that's for. That's just a precedent play uh, to make sure that we can have a deal with the devil's deals with the devil in the future. Pluralization is so weird, man. What do you how do you pluralize deal with the devil? It's deals with the devil. There's not more than one devil, but the general rule in English is that you add the s on whatever gets pluralized. You are getting multiple deals, but 
it's so easy to just slip up and be like, deal with the devils. You know, when you say, I'm going to watch the football game, you're going to watch two games, you don't say, I'm going to watch the football's game. That just doesn't make any sense. And in the English language, that implies that, you know, the Occam's razor on that one is like, there's a couple of sentient footballs, and you're going to watch them play like a video game with one another. It just doesn't make any darn sense. And that's why, like, from this point onwards, I'm only going to speak in C-sharp. I know that probably sounds ridiculous, but, um... Let string my apologies equal open quotation marks. It had to be done. Close quotation marks. Semicolon. Console dot right line. My apologies. So we get uh, Capricorn. Obviously really good. Uh, we also start. Well, probably not start because we already had Book of Blab. But we get a little further down on a uh, library precedent here. This runs all about presidents. Happy birthday. Mr. President. <laughs> okay, I didn't feel comfortable with that. Thought maybe that could be a secret room, and if so, we could use our key to get into the shop and maybe take the money from the secret room and get access to 15 cents and buy an item with that, but it doesn't really matter um, that we weren't able to, because we'll probably get two cents on this floor regardless. And I know we have enough HP to not be afraid of the fact that we have uh, Curse of the Unknown on this floor. Nine lives? Nine lives. We're going to take it, obviously, but uh, there is an opportunity for this to be really bad for us if we start to enter the death spiral soon. It's probably not, like, ridiculously bad, because either way, we're popping off with respect to damage right now. Like, really killing it with respect to damage. Judas, occasional Book of Belial, Capricorn, uh, and Growth Hormones, but I, uh, I want to not lose any lives in the early game here because we can rely on the spirit I know we got at least two black hearts which means we have one and a half because we, we were in our uh, we, we had to leave the curse room after we got the two black hearts so we have at least one and a half uh, demon hearts right now which allows us to get a deal with the devil and still live and kind of the deal with the devil currency is the way that you store value when you have something like nine lives. You know, eventually we may start tactically choosing to lose lives, but really for now, it's about getting those deals that are essentially free because the HP that we lose right now is not the HP that's gonna make up our winning life eventually anyway. And it's not like it's an enormous difference right now. We're probably like, it, we're talking about, you know, extreme overkilling the run, but either way, um, it's it's probably a best practice to Treat, treat our HP nicely. So let's not take stupid damage. And you know, the dirty little secret about stupid damage is you take way less of it when your damage is really good. You might think, I missed the old NL. Didn't care about gold NL. Took Isaac's heart NL. Not afraid to fart NL. But the truth is, first off, I think it's just a little disgusting to fart on camera at this point in my life, you know? It's a cheap joke, and although it is... And farts are funny. I can't disagree with that. It also, you know, makes some people uncomfortable. And as a result, I don't want to, you know, disillusion people to my to my content. It was like the actual worst time to use uh, two of spades. But at least we got some value out of it. Um, well, the absolute worst time would be on one key. So, could be worse. Um, but I, I, Isaac's heart is on my ban list. I won't take it. it. It's ruined too many good runs. And the odds of it... Providing us with entertainment that is even close to being proportional to the pain that it'll cause me. Basically zero. So, um, why not use the Magician? It, let's be real with the way that the Magician is going to go for us here. If I don't use it on this room, I will just hold it until I get a card I want to use. And then we'll never see the Magician again anyway. So, we might as well get some value out of it. Which is the same thing we're going to do with our HP right here. Managed to pick up Demon Baby. Um, I guess I'm just going to go. Our item room is Isaac's Heart. We're not going to go to our shop because we spent... No, we spent money on our shop already to get the two of spades. Yeah, let's just go. I mean, nine lives speed up Demon Baby. That's not a bad situation at all. We're at eight minutes and we're already down to uh, the caves too. Which means we should probably slow it down a little bit. And our HP is actually better than I expected. I didn't think that we had five uh, spirit and demon hearts backing us up here, but... This means we can actually take another deal with the devil that doesn't give us HP and still uh, completely live through a deal with the devil. And the deals with the devil, like, I'm harping on those because they're more likely as a result of our um, Book of Belialness. 
Like, getting one on the last floor was not likely, but it, it happened regardless. Well worth it. I mean, we got a key surplus right now. Abel? Might rather just get another four cents, but... Abel's subtle. You know, maybe it has a better impact later. Either way, uh, we are down four keys after we open this. We got Tammy's head again. I guess I should have picked it up the first time. I mean, I should take Tammy's head. Like, if this was an Eden run, I would take Tammy's head over Book of Belial, but... Book of Belial is so integral to the character of Judas, and Tammy's head is an item that I I take uncompromisingly in so many situations that I'm I'm not gonna take it here. I'm just gonna take it and use it once to get rid of it, which probably cost us the yep, it cost us the uh, Book of Belial effect on this room. I'm not too salty about it though. You know we're we're fighting these enemies, and we can't kill these enemies without Book of Belial. Uh, we got bigger problems anyway. So this is just a minor setback. And we got to our 15th cent. It took us a little longer than I expected, but eventually made it there. Now we need some keys, which is really, you know, of my own... Mis like, I've created my own misfortune here. By using four keys on the last room. But when you get the opportunity to open those golden chests, I think you go for it. Personally, I go for it. I bet we can get a key for a single spirit heart here. I bet we don't have to, but I bet we could. Ooh, experimental treatment has made us, I think, even faster. Our damage doesn't seem to be, like, you know, markedly worse. Steam sales seems smart here. It's another tough English sentence. Steam sales seems smart. By the seashore. Um, I gotta prove it. Ooh, I told ya! Guess who's back? Back again. With Sensible. Predictions. Guess who's back? It is me. I am back. Technically, never left, but I'm back. Technically, do 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 do. You get the idea. Um, was it worth it? Yeah. I mean, in from an entertainment standpoint, we're probably more likely to get keys than we are to get spirit hearts. So, in almost no other standpoint, is it better? But in fact, it's actually worse here because two of diamonds gives us effectively nothing. Um, that it wouldn't have given us if we had one key, or if we didn't have one key anyway, but... Wait, no, it actually, to have... Wait, no, disregard. Look, my math, my arithmetic is wonky today. I'm distracted by commentary. Cardinal Sin, don't do math on camera. I like to break that Cardinal Sin. I enjoy arithmetic, as you know, dorky as it sounds. It's like a little meditation. But I don't want to do it on camera right now. It just feels like I'm not primed to be successful with it. Still about two minutes ahead of schedule for Boss Rush, and Book of Belial makes... Well, actually, Book of Belial combined with nine lives makes it plausible that we will actually enjoy Boss Rush because we will, uh, you know, get in there and kill all enemies or die and respawn on the outside of it. But we, we have to plan for that with some HP waiting for us if we're going to do that. But we don't have to worry about it for a couple floors. PJ's is good. Head downwards. Where, I didn't take the two of diamonds. Or did I take two of, two of diamonds instead of two of spades? Uh, I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you leave bad comments? <laughs> it's okay. I can take it. You know, you gotta you gotta be able to take ownership of your mistakes. I think I think a mistake a lot of YouTubers make on a on a conceptual level, and you know, I'm on the same level, so don't let me act like I have all the answers, but you know, they make a mistake. They get really shitty comments for it. You know, they get people going like, oh, you fucking idiot, blah, blah, blah. And then they go, well, that criticism is invalid because your comment is shitty. And the way I choose to deal with that is to say that person's mad because of something that I did. There's no reason to talk to somebody with that level of disrespect ever. But, you know, there can be a situation in which both people are wrong. Like, I could have made a mistake that also led to them being so angry that they made a mistake in the comments. So... You know, someone says, oh, you fucking idiot, blah, blah, blah. I, you know, as much as this sounds like being a little bitch about the situation, I, I tend to look at it and go, okay, what, what can I do that neutralizes this in the future? And the answer is, just don't fuck it up with Diplopia again, you stupid moron. Thank you, Tomo. <laughs> I mean to say, thank you, Kate, for letting Tomo into the room. But thank you, Tomo, for the moral support as well. You know, it's it's the kind of thing where, like, if you're a big fan of, like, 
Marvel or something like that. And then you saw one of the recent Marvel movies. Wow, that was bad dodging. Uh, and you hated it. And you left a message on the you know, movie message board or something. The movie message board. And you said, oh, you freaking idiots. You don't even know what you're doing with this property. Blah, blah, blah. It's an uncalled for comment. You know, people deserve to be treated with respect. But also, is motivated by something. Like, there is a little nugget of constructive criticism in there. Not everybody th thinks it's worth giving people the benefit of the doubt on that one, and I can understand why. You know, it's like being... Ooh, yeah, I'll, I'll sacrifice a spirit heart here. You know, it's like if somebody was to come up to you and be like, Hey, chubster, you're looking real chubby there. You, ooh, eat enough, uh, save some spaghetti for the rest of us, right? They're being a dick about it. I'm not saying, like, you can choose how to live your life however you want, but... There is a nugget of criticism there where, you know, if somebody says that to me, I go, man, that person's a dick. But maybe they're right. Maybe I should get back on the bicycle a little bit. It's not that easy for some people, admittedly. But, um, and it's not to say that all criticism is, is valid and not motivated by douchebags. I'm just throwing it out there that, for me personally, I try to, even from a field that has been salted by shit, I try to use that salted shit as fertilizer to grow some crops that are maybe better for the next season. You know, maybe they have a higher nutritional or caloric yield. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Hey, Tomo buddy, how's it going? What's up in the life of a cat today? I'm really proud of you, Tomo. Ruka has a little gambit that he pulls. He knows Kate and I don't like it when the cats go in the closet and then, you know, sleep near the clothes because does the clothes get covered in cat fur? I feel like, why would I do anything else on this floor? We already have everything that a boy could possibly want. So sometimes Ruka, because he's a mad genius who finds mayhem, the very concept of mayhem to be amusing, will uh, open the closet door, trick Tomo into going inside, and then start meowing and be like, check it out, Tomo's in the closet, you know, hate him, love me. Like 5 a.m., woke up, roused from my slumber by like a ta 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 on the closet door. Ruka has opened it. So naturally, first reaction. Ooh, probably should have used two of spades. Luckily, we're not punished for it. Um, first reaction, close the closet door and be like, Ruka, don't do that. But I went into the closet and was like, okay, we got to see if Tomo's in here. Because I don't want to lock him in the closet overnight. And Ruka, he's a sneaky dude. But it turns out that his master plan was not a master plan. He just opened the door and then looked at me and was like, check it out. I can open the door. You hold no power here. And I was like, guess who signs the rent checks, motherfucker? And then he said, it's 2016, they don't do rent, check, rent checks, it's just direct deposits. And I said to him, since when can you talk? You've got a great knowledge of the world's uh, infrastructure for financial, financial transactions. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Ooh, that was a terrible place to dodge. Got extremely lucky to not get hit there. This run, you know, we can, we can take a stock of it right now. It's quite good. Our damage is really great. Uh, rate of fire thanks to Mr. Dolly and the PJs has gone up. Damage has always been pretty good on this. Uh, and, you know, it's not an exception right now. We are in a, a very slightly awkward position from a deal with the devil standpoint. We got enough HP to be like, we could probably kill all the bosses on a deal with the devil and not worry about it too much. Um, but, you know, if we lost like five spirit hearts in there, which is possible spread over 15 waves of enemies. Um... That'd be a bummer. We'd be in a we'd be in a much worse position heading down to the womb, although we do have nine lives. But it, it would be less awkward if we could just teleport out. So we are gonna, you know, give ourselves a good chance of getting that teleport card, hopefully. That was really dumb. Tomo, I'm gonna let you out, buddy. I just need to finish killing these Zambros here. The Whisperers. Ooh, help me. Alright, Tomo. Now's your now's your time. I think it's worth buying the map. I think it's worth buying a Spirit Heart. I think it's worth buying a Spider Mod. Why not? This is probably... If I had to guess, I would say this is uh, Boss Room. So if we can get a Teleport card somehow, quickly, that would be good. But very, very unlikely. So instead, we'll end up backtracking. But we've got two and a half minutes to make it happen. Probably, like, principal concern on this run is... Uh, First off, NL, stop enabling assholes to be assholes. That wasn't what I meant with my commentary back there. It's simply that assholes are gonna be assholes. You know, you can choose to... Ooh, I didn't mean that. 
You can choose to let it affect your mood, or you can choose to use it as a motivator for personal growth. They have no say over your personal growth, by the way. You know, that's on you if you take the initiative there. That's not them. Oh, th thanks for motivating me. Nah, that's dickish. Um, sure, use a key to get a key, because there could be stuff contained in these blocks. And then we get a bomb, which we're going to use to further our rerolling chances here. It could, I mean, HP wouldn't be bad. Uh, I'm going to take Blue Baby's only friend for a couple of reasons, one of which is time. But for now, I think we're just going to go through to our boss fight here, and I guess we'll see how things look for Boss Rush. Either way, um, the secondary criticism is probably use Book of Belial, you, you freaking moran. Are you a Scottish actor from the BBC television program Black Books? Because you're acting like a real Dylan Moran right now. Uh, but really, uh, we should be using Book of Belial more. There's not much excuse for that. Give me Brimstone, not Brimstone. I'll take Lump of Coal. I might even take Krampus's head, but no, okay, we don't have to. I was only saying that because it would be really useful for Boss Rush, and then maybe we could scrap it later. Just ignore the chainsaw in the background. We're getting some delicious, fresh squeezed juice from our in house juicer. We don't have an in house juicer. We do own a juicer, but it's not a person, it's not a human being, it's just a, it's an appliance. Uh, I don't, honestly. You may disagree. You may you may be the kind of person who is okay with like, oh, okay, let's make an investment in our Roth IRA. I'll get the amortization tables out and we'll make it happen. Uh, but for me personally, I'm not going to uh, invest all the boss rush time into getting Luckfoot. Just just enjoy the sweet dulcet tones of phytonutrients being extracted uh, from fruits and vegetables in the background right there. I think I've talked about this. I, I feel, whenever I tell people, like, yeah, we make some juice at home. I always have to get defensive the same way, like, I mean, I was vegetarian for a while for environmental reasons, you know, because the carbon footprint of meat was higher. But then eventually I was like, yeah, meat is delicious, though. And it was like a toss-up. Anyway, like, we don't, we don't necessarily need to go into that. But anytime I would tell people that I was vegetarian, they would take it as, like, an affront. Like, like I was judging them for eating meat, which I never would. I have... I've been there, you know, I'll eat hands, handfuls of lunch meat out of the fridge. We're all in this together, boys. But immediately, you know, you'd be like, hey, I'm a vegetarian. They'd be like, yeah, well, soy gives you man boobs. And I'm like, all right, I eat a lot of chickpeas, man. And despite the name, chickpeas do not give you man boobs. They're just delicious and staples of, uh, you know, Mediterranean and North African cuisines. The same thing, like, when I'm like, oh, yeah, Caden, that makes some juice now. And then people go, well, you're missing out on all the fiber. That's true. But I think it's, like, almost a, a necessary evil. Because you're also getting way more... It, it, let me put it this way. It makes the fruit and vegetable consumption a lot easier. Even if it's, you know, half as effective or even one-third as effective. Each glass of juice has, like, six apples and a, a whole handful of, you know, kale farts inside of it. I'm not saying it's a miracle, you know, cure-all. I'm just saying that A, it's delicious. B, it's refreshing. And C, maybe there's a fringe nutritional benefit as well. But certainly if the doctor was like, hey, you know, you got butt worms. I wouldn't be like, oh, let me, uh, let me check the juicing Bible for the butt worms cure recipe. No, I'd be like, give me the butt worm poison. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for the butt worm poison. Uh, easy floor. Can't complain. Are we fighting Hush on this one? I would say probably not. Um... Nine lives plus Hush. I mean, how many times do you have to say it? Basically, I just have to say, I have nine lives. So, Hush is always a dangerous proposition. Sometimes I like to do it, but I think, you know, an episode went up recently where I kind of talked about my, my Hush philosophy. And my Hush philosophy lately... I'm going to take Watch Battery, by the way, just to make this fucking weird. I can always drop it. I don't think I've taken... or It's not Watch Battery, sorry. Super Magnet. I think I've taken Super Magnet in, like, a hundred episodes. Probably like 400 episodes, actually. I had it the very first greed mode run I ever did, though. Um, and made the doors of the greed mode fight track into me, which was really funny. Uh, either way. What was I going to say? I, I, yeah, but I talked about my philosophy for the Hush fight. And honestly, I'm not having that much fun with the Hush fight anymore. And I think it's kind of laborious to watch a lot of the time. So I figure, let's only do the Hush fight when it feels like it'll be fun. Does it feel like it'll be fun here? Not really. But we'll see, our final deal with the devil may uh, create a situation in which I feel slightly differently 
about that. Got a nice mix, like Blue Baby's Only Friend and Our Tears are both pretty nice right now, so I'm trying to use a little smattering of both whenever possible. When enemies get close, Demon Baby's doing an alright job. We're not rolling in HP, but certainly uh, I'm not thinking that we're in a horrible state. I would like to kill Lust last, just for the chance to complete spawn. If he gave me the virus, it would have been worth it, but he didn't give me the virus, so that just ends up being dumb damage. Alright. I just want to... There we go. There's Blue Baby's only friend. We're not going to be able to keep it in the middle reliably. It's probably better to just focus on our tiers because our rate of fire and damage uh, are really good, especially with Lump of Coal backing us up. Deal with the Devil, please, for two guppy items. Easy. I think we gotta try. Even though the odds of us actually uh, becoming Guppy are very low right now, we got nine lives so we can afford to take a gamble on a curse room, you know, that we otherwise might not take, but certainly I, I would agree. That was a really fast shot thanks to the super magnet there. I would agree that um, probably in most circumstances, that would be a decision you wouldn't want to make. I'm also kind of holding out hope that we'll be able to use our one bomb to potentially in the future access uh, a tinted rock. And I'll accept whatever it gives me. One spirit heart is on the low end. I was actually hoping, you know, maybe golden chest Guppy's head. Otherwise, small rock. Um, you know, otherwise two spirit hearts, but sure. Can't really complain. We gotta try. Golden uh, heart doesn't actually give us HP on an absolute level. We did get a golden bomb, though. And I, I, if we take damage on this room, on this floor, I'm willing to accept... Uh, that the golden bomb was the necessary cost. We also got uh, an HP upgrade, which I would prefer maybe to have after we lost our first life, but the ability to fly is universal here, so I do think it's worth it. And if we go down to the next floor, you know, with this still intact, that's fine. If we lose the eternal heart but still have the ability to fly, I think it's still a net positive for us. Although perhaps slightly more of... Uh, a liability than, than previously considered. Range up. It's okay. Because we have uh, Guppy's tail, we should... I mean, I already used two of spades, but we should make sure to pick up every key regardless. I think we're, we're getting in tight enough to, to a loss here that I feel justified in dropping Super Magnet. That's another... That's a trinket that provides us with not a whole lot of benefit this late in the game, especially with the ability to fly. Alright, so let's... Take stock of our advantages and disadvantages right now. Disadvantage, not a whole hell of a lot of HP. Advantage, golden bombs on this floor, so... Can definitely uh, get value out of that. Another advantage is... Um, we can actually hide out of the uh, line of sight of most enemies. It's not like line of sight is probably not the right word. But we can, we can stay out of their ability to actually hit us as a result of the fact that we have... Uh, the ability to fly, and Blue Baby's only friend. So we can just run away, for lack of a better word. And um, in most circumstances, they won't be able to hit me. Come on, take a shot. Shoot, coward. You're only going to kill a baby. Kill a baby! Great name for a rapper. But it's got to be a rapper that's under the age of 10. Or over the age of 30. You can't be like a 25-year-old rapper called Kill a Baby. That's like a little bow wow situation. Eventually, you just gotta become killer. I got a killer up inside of me. <clears throat> I can't talk to my mama, so I talk to my diary. That's not gonna help us too much there. Uh, up, I don't think we've checked up. As Shania Twain said, up, up, up can only go up from here. I believe she was talking about the second Matrix movie, if only she'd known. The dark future that beheld us all. Befell us all? You get the idea. Okay, just take it slow. Blue Baby's only friend is, like, actually a much better defensive item than it usually gets credit for. If you guys could, like, blow up this door for me, that would be awesome. I have a feeling the boss fight's up here. I have the map, I just don't have... Uh, the ability to use it right now. Spirit. No, no spirit hearts. 
I swear, you never realize how many dead ends you can exist on a single floor until you get Curse of the Go Fudge Yourself. This is also a dead end. So we have no reason to be here. We got golden bombs, though. It must be this way, then. I'm not using Book of Belial just because, you know, with Curse of the Unknown, the, the Isaac fight could be around the corner. And really, if there's any floor in which we really have no reason to use... Uh, Book of Belial, it's this one because we've got golden bombs. So I can make up for the, you know, inefficient damage output by just throwing more bombs down, which is the way that I'm presently choosing to handle things. And to be honest with you, it's, it's actually working out pretty well. Our HP is, uh, until then, was a little bit better than I would have expected. Finally, the boss fight. Gotta blow up these walls here so that we can actually not get blocked. If these walls could block... I could be deceased by the dad. <laughs> Just ignore it. Just ignore that that almost tried to happen there. Um, okay, we got golden bombs. Don't sweat it. Try one there. Try one here. You blew up the door to get into this room. Oh, this is a huge situation for us. Basically, just do not uh, take damage. If I get hit... Once, I'm okay. If I get hit twice, I'm going to be real salty. Because we're going to have to fight this guy on 1 HP and we'll lose the Eternal Heart. So, I, uh, it's extremely important that I just don't get hit on the Isaac fight. Uh, twice. If I get hit once, at least we're going down with, a, you know, 9 lives and a good shot at Redemption here. If we go down to the next floor, you know, with no Eternal Heart and like 6 lives... Your margin for error becomes a lot thinner than you might even expect. There we go. Made it through. We got 18 keys. It's a very strong run, but lacking a little bit in the HP department. Maybe I shouldn't have looked at Gift, Hor Gift Horse in the Mouth when we got the body earlier. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Super Magnet. Well, uh, Multidimensional Baby's okay. Aquarius is okay. Ankh could be very important for us. And Box of Spiders is fun, but certainly not uh, an item that I'm necessarily thrilled with right now. And Carrion Queen is like an enemy that I occasionally forget exists. Which is a shame because it gives you a great opportunity if you got like a Freddie Mercury-esque voice. You could be like, he's a Carrion Queen. Derriere like a laser beam. Poop like... Okay. Hey, Kate. Whoa, chopped up apple. Must be my birthday. If only she had like a freaking chance to get murdered here in less than 10 seconds. It's the Carrion Queen is like the killer of speedruns. If it was a boss in Dark Souls, that would be what comes after the comma. Carrion Queen, comma, killer of speedruns. I'm begging you. Thank you. That's what we're looking for. I mean, we... Admittedly, you kind of reap what you sow. I should expect to not get uh, super rich on the chest. In terms of, like, items. Because I didn't uh, go through the gamble of taking the luck foot. And honestly, so far, that appears to have been the right decision. Because we're alive right now. But it's possible... Oh, the miter is a pretty big helper. It's possible that that will proved to be, you know, maybe not our downfall, but uh, something that creates a little bit more dangerous dynamism. Dynamicness? The concept of being a dynamo? You can tell, like, you know, this is not Sad Bomb's Death's Touch area, because we're having a little bit of a, a tough time with these enemies, but... We've had enough range upgrades that I'm like, you know, these enemies are gonna get killed eventually. That's fine. You gotta feel like the, uh, the boss fight's gonna be up here. That was really, really bad damage. That was beyond, uh, average poor damage. Especially because of the circumstances at hand here. But I will say that with the miter, all we need is like... One spirit heart to drop, and if we get one spirit heart to drop instead of a red heart, probably you gotta kill the virus last here. 
which we should have a decent chance to do. Oh my god, we found the second secret room. Well, it, it was found for us. Um, the virus is so good here, so if we can kill Lust last and get the... Stop walking on Aquarius! Oh, you idiot! You cost me. 100% chance we would have gotten it there. Despite the fact that that makes no mathematical sense, 100% chance we would have gotten it there. Okay, High Priestess is helpful. Ace of Spades, I don't know, it doesn't really concern me too much right now. Uh, and... I probably should have been hit there. Sure. Let's just do this on the first try. I would I would really like to do that. Um, High Priestess maybe help me out 20% extra damage or something done right off the top. And the more time that this enemy, who I won't speak of by name, that was really lucky, stays uh, slowed, the better our life is. I can't believe, there's probably been like three or four opportunities for me to be hit and really get a little scared here. So I'm just going to hide out a little bit as a result of the, uh, the danger of the situation. Thank you again, Kate. It was also a dicey call there. But I think if we just ride it out here, we're good. Close call, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.